Hello, welcome to Spelunky Tips and Tricks, and in this episode, we'll be learning how to rob the black market without using any resources or committing a crime. So, one of the things you need to understand before we I show you how to do it is the difference between jump whipping and whip jumping. If you jump and then hit whip, the whip like takes a second to come out, and you can't really get it at the apex. Whereas when you press whip and then jump, it's sort of this rising thing. And it's this whip jump is the one that we're going to be using for this. All right, so let's head to the black market. All right, we're here at the black market. Now I'll show you what this trick looks like first before we before I'll show you how to do it. Oops. But yeah, that's basically the trick right there. All right, so how does it work? So I did a jump. So whenever you aggro a shopkeep, all the items in their shop immediately become free. Like you see, all these items right here are free. As well as all the items that are in the loaded area called the not, or the unloaded area is called the frozen region. So anything in it is, I guess, the warm region. But all these items that were loaded are now free, and these shopkeeps aren't aggro. So you want to stand about from about from here to here or so. And it's all really about the timing of just pressing the... It's all about pressing X and then Z at the right time. Because if you do it too to if you do it too early, then you go above his head. But if you get it just right, you'll get him. Also, if you do it too late, then it'll shoot you. For practice, I recommend using mods such as the Savable Spelunky mod, as shown here, where you can just load a save that you've made in front of the black market, and you can just practice the trick. One last thing, don't get discouraged. This is probably one of the hardest tricks in the entire run, and I flub it up all the time. Well, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode of my series on making you a better speedrunner.